So here we have to find the coordinates of the points of intersection of the line and the curve. As you can see, here we have intersection. Usually that will lead to a solving simultaneous question, kind of question. So we have to solve simultaneous equations. For example, the main idea here is that we have a line. Let's say this is our line. And then we have a curve. Let's say this is our curve. Now you can see we have two points of intersection. So we have to find those two points. That's the main idea behind this question. Now, this is my equation number one. This is my equation number two. Now we will have two equations that we have to use or we can use to find the two unknowns we have to find in the equations. So in the first one, I can make y become subject. So y can be 11 minus 2x. Now in this one here, I have x and y, right? I can replace y by 11 minus 2x. So you'll have x times y, which is now also 11 minus 2x is equal to 12. Now solve step by step. That will be 11x minus 2x squared equal to 12. Let's send everything to one side. You will have 2, this, uh, minus 11x, and then plus 12 equal to 0. Now, as you can see here, we have a quadratic equation. We can uh, factorize or we can use the formula to solve this equation. So I will go with factorization. Okay. Because we have x squared, we have to have two brackets. Now, what is 2x squared? It is 2x times x. Now, what is 12? We know 12 can be 1 times 12, 3 times 4, or 2 times 6. Now, we have to choose a pair where we can fit in those positions, so we get minus 11. So let's see uh, which one will fit. Now, again, this is done by trial. Wait, I don't know what, which one is going to be OK. I can try one by one. But now again, I don't want to waste your time. I know exactly which one I will choose. I will choose this one. Right. I will put 4 here and 3 here. Now, for me to get minus 11, I have to have minus 8 and minus 3. Because minus 8 minus 3 is minus 11. Now, to check, minus times minus is plus. So here we have plus. So this is a good factorization. Now, solve. That will be 0. This also will be equating to 0. So x have to be 3 over 2, and x have to be the value of 4. Now, for this value of x, let's find the corresponding value of y. So y will be 11 minus 2x. That will be 3 over 2. Simplify. 11 minus 3 will be 8. And for this one, y will be 11 minus 2x. x is 4 right here. That will be 11 minus 8. That will be 3. As you can see, we have the coordinates of the two points. So the first point will be 3 over 2. And then y is 8. Or it can be 4 and then 3. So these are the two points we need to find for this question.